today is the most vibrant large economy in the world china is showing the way to the rest of the world in two ways one is economy that is driven by high technology but also economy that is guided by high quality of growth not just quantity but high quality that results in improving the living conditions of the people this year uh, the uh, national people's congress will approve a plan that will uh, go further in the direction of developing the new technologies which has also an impact on the rest of the world because for instance in europe where we are also developing new technologies it can be reason for further cooperation with china in uh, these aspects it will be also uh, the decision to uh, go further to develop the green economy logicamente en un contexto pandémico donde china de alguna forma a nivel económico y a nivel infraestructura eh, lidera muchísimas áreas estratégicas principalmente por todo este empuje que ha tenido durante los últimos años china hacia el desarrollo de alta tecnología implementada en muchísimos procesos productivos y que ahora también mencionaba yo al principio en estas dinámicas de e-commerce y de e-business eh, pues bueno generan un precedente interesante hacia las tendencias eh, que podría generar China dentro de la dinámica del comercio internacional pero también dentro de los negocios a nivel internacional. I think that um, areas where, uh, where we're really excited about is uh, e-commerce, uh, uh, safety, security, healthcare, um, energy efficiency, environment, uh, climate change altogether, everything that relates to it. In fact, when I look at the five-year plan of China, it's almost as if we had written it for each other. Uh, we look up to China now, not only for inspiration, not only for a uh, strong catalyst of economic development and stronger trade, we look up to China also for reform policies, reforms on economy, reforms on public health, even technology innovations of China are all amazing things we look forward to.